Gregory. Not true. Gregory. Curdy. You're lying. Oh, I'm not lying. You are You're fibbing. Pants are on fire. You are over like dramatizing the situation. This is like worse than like days of our lives. The, they are terrible at managing themselves. That That's is so untrue. That is so untrue. This house is run like a tight ship. Not by you. Hey everybody, you're listening to God Spice with Greg and Kathy. Bah! Welcome back to a new season of Got Spice. Season three. We have actually made it to a third season. I know. Can you believe it? I do not know Whoa. who you lovely people are that are actually supporting this show like and marriages. watching us. Yeah. Oh my God. We're like going into season three of our I relationship. Know. I know. We really are. I'm going to test you out. Really? Yeah. I can't wait for season four, five, six, maybe even 10. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'd like to have multiple wives. So that's why they call it Gregory's Harem. That that's not what I interpreted from you wanting multiple seasons with me. Oh, well, no, you're like, you know, as they say in Sex in the City, right? You know, you always when you bring others in, you know, it's always best to be the guest star. And you're like the guest star of these situations. All right, I'm gonna yell at you later. Okay. Since we have an audience that watching was a quote us from Samantha. Hey, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Before we go into our episode today, yes. uh, I thought. We could do a little reflection on how we ended up of twenty twenty three. Yeah, how we ended twenty twenty three in a uh, in ten seconds. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Seven hundred thousand plus views on YouTube. Thanks to all of you. Mm -hmm. More than Amazing. that, actually, on YouTube. We we just received notification that we were significantly above that. Yes, so, yes. but I'm talking about year end wrap up. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Okay. Let's just mm -hmm. stick with the facts. Okay. I'm all about the facts. Uh, we had 157 shorts. Mm -hmm, we did. That's that quite a few. That we put out there, which is not shorts. bad for no. working geeks yes. doing this thing. It's a lot of short people we brought on the set at one particular time and moment. Okay. We, we don't... Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we also had mm -hmm. 27... Episodes. Episodes mm -hmm. that came out. Yes. Imagine if you only saw it was on the cutting room floor. A lot. Was, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Actually, we're really bad at like putting stuff on the cutting room floor. I know we are. We just prefer... we're sort of like here it is. Like here's what we talked here's... about. We just we'll just remove like weird camera angles where maybe we're not in the camera for a hot moment, but mm. we are generally um, pretty good about just kind of like you know. <laughs> what you see is what you get. You get yeah. the Gregory and the Kirthy. Yeah, it's pretty much is. Yeah, but. What was exciting is we mm -hmm. finally had that wrap up event in December. We did well a wrap up event. I don't know if that's. It like, was like a celebration uh, for us. That's that's. I, it was a celebration, but I don't want to call it like a wrap up event because that's wrap like up. I was wrapping, wrapping up, up the year. I was wrapping up twenty twenty three. It was like a commencement party, and I was like goodbye because you were a garbage year. I wouldn't and say it was a garbage year. We did some fun things in twenty twenty four. I, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed 2023. No, I'd say it was in. No, we we did some great things overall as a couple and as a family. So it wasn't overly okay, wait. horrendous the way you're making it. We sound. had a couple moments, couple moments. Uh huh. But generally speaking, it was a garbage year. Well, I, it was a challenging year. Garbage. I wouldn't call it garbage. Cut it off. I thought you were like glass half full woman. I am, but no, it was garbage. Apparently not. It was garbage. What? What? Garbage? No. Don't, don't, you're not allowed to make the Indian accent. What, what, that's what you just did. You were like, garbage. No, I went garbage. Exactly, garbage. Listen, well, by the way, we are shooting this mm -hmm. um, a few days ahead of when we're going to release it. Yes. Uh, today is an Indian holiday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That it is. It's eat. So we haven't had any eggs and haven't had any meats. But it's Sankranthri, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. which is the celebration of eat sweet, be sweet. Mm -hmm. It's spreading joy and happiness. Mm. Which is, is our, it, which is our like motto yeah. for God's Spice. But are we supposed to read some like Sanskrit? No, I already did that. I already oh. did the puja. I see. Okay. I just wasn't sure. You said Sankatri. So it was like Sanskrit. It is. That word is not too dissimilar from Sanskrit. Exactly. That's but it's Sankranthri. I am what they call a cultured individual. I mean, you try. You know, we're working on uh, it. We're, it's, I pretend everyone's We're in still a while. shaping. We're still. I agree. I'm still like. You're like a wax. You. I'm still shaping You're you. You're malleable. I understand. I'm cultivating and culturing you. Yes. I, I really don't think pretty it's soon I'd this, say I don't think it's this way I, I think, think it really is this way no I think it's about another six months before I will have completed the transformation for you otherwise known as a Stepford wife 
Yes. Um, when we moved to Connecticut, um, in the process of like transforming her into the ideal Stepford wife type woman, although we're not moving to Connecticut anytime soon, we're just bringing that vibe into New York City. Okay. Now that Dan Greg is done speaking, mm. which sometimes is hard I, for us to get him to do. I haven't concluded quite yet. Oh, God. Look, <laughs> we had this amazing event in December. It was. It was we a press holiday event. We had some really interesting people make an appearance. We did. And join us. Yes. Uh, Matthew Johnson, who's become a really great social media collaborating friend, yeah. musician friend. Yeah. He flew up from partner. El Paso mm -hmm. and he made an appearance and he debuted his new single, Wonderland. Wonderland, which kicked off Wonder, that day. Wonder, it was released Wonderland. on that same day of the event. So good. Which was December 20th. Really, Go check it out, Wonderland. It's a really happy song. Um, we also had the opportunity to do our first ever kind of live uh -huh. podcast. We did. We uh, we did in front of a studio audience, although it was a live event audience. So, yeah, and they were yes. very rowdy. So we well, have some lessons. To see us live. It's not every day we do this live for everyone. I mean, we're so sort of doing, were we're sort of doing like a, a were, debrief right now. Like this doing is doing an event It was debrief. crazy. People like standing on tables, jumping up and down, and ruckus and rowdy. <laughs> not really. It was crazy. Okay. It no, was nothing like it was, that. But, it was actually a But just imagine that it was. It was a relatively sophisticated audience we did. i have to say we had like, to have roping around us though because like the amount of women that were trying, trying to touch greg i f i felt like johnny bravo from like the the, the brady bunch oh. when greg brady's put into the coat the jacket he doesn't really know how to sing and they just want him then why'd you choose me as as like the star artist because you fit the jacket i'm the other end of the spectrum where i am the actual talent who also does fit the jacket because the clothing is built around me and my Wait, build. Are, you are you being greg brady right now no i'm being the gregory Oh, I thought, and so there was just a line of women trampling who, really each other. I don't know if we were just, at, just to like get a glimpse we were, of me. Were you at this event? Oh yeah, they were trying to touch me. They were trying to touch my hair. The, they I, wanted me to sweat in a bottle so they could drink it. This. They're like, I have to have a piece of you. It was crazy. Okay, you know what? It was beyond um, craziness. It was actually a live event, and I'm pretty sure some of our loyal, loyal, uh, most loyal I, followers. were tuned in. Now I know what now live. I, well, now I know what Elvis went through back in the day. It's like, it's hard. It's not easy. Okay. It's not easy being married. I'm going to be very supportive. Yes. Shh. Okay. Shh. Shh. Okay. Well, the event would not have been possible if we actually didn't have uh, the support of our community, uh, kind of brand partners. Mm -hmm. and, and great friends. And a lot of great friends, as well as other social collaborators that have come into our life, mm -hmm. uh, like... Jordana, yes, right, and Mariel yep. from, you know, don't pass the pepper sauce. Like yes. they are awesome for coming in yep. and hosting. Actors and, and producers. Yes, so we can't wait to go check out some of their shows. Mm -hmm. They're always you can see them around performing mm -hmm. off Broadway. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got to actually before Greg interrupted me with his weird, unrealistic stories. We had Chris what was Shembra. Weird and unrealistic about we it. Had Chris Shembra. I look. Join I'm like us. a journalist. I was reporting the facts. And ask us, wow, you should maybe go join another coalition at this juncture. Oh. But um Oh Fox wanted to hire me. Okay. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh Chris Shembra joined us, mm -hmm. who is a phenomenal motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. He really makes us kind of ask us the right questions of ourselves. And it was kind of fun because he asked us a really hard question mm -hmm. of who would you think right now at this moment? And I had you in the room with me mm -hmm. who I un like wholeheartedly thank you for so much. And I'm being a little cheesy and sentimental mm -hmm. right okay. now, but like my mom and dad actually I love came to situations. the, my mom and dad actually came to the event too. Mm -hmm. And it was such a hard question to answer in that moment because mm -hmm. it's like, how can you think you could never think just one person. And there's been obviously multiple people who, impact or influence or shape you as a person mm -hmm. and I'm, i have a profound impact on people apparently all these women well it's not only women it's men women oh everything. gosh we're going there okay well, that's no, right i'm hmm. the gregory it happens yeah it does happen I'm it always seems to happen mm -hmm. but greg i think we want to take an opportunity to thank some really awesome sponsors absolutely who made this event who possible really made this event possible um you know First and foremost, I want to thank our lead sponsor, um, who is also a great friend of ours, uh, Glio Leo. Um, it's a wonderful cause supporting uh, brain cancer. And 
And glioblastoma brain cancer, yes. which is a very rare uh, cancer. And a lot of research has to be done to support mm -hmm. that um, horrible disease. And we're just really proud to have them as an ongoing nonprofit partner mm -hmm. for God Spice. Yep. So, so we we're really excited to kick the for, year off with for really Leo being, Leo. Yeah, a sponsor. We wanted to bring, especially that time of year and going into uh, the new year, we really wanted to bring that that charity um, you know, out to the forefront and make people more aware of it because it's a great cause. It's so important. It really is. It's so important you know, in this day and age. Um, and then we've got um, some other fun brands like La Monique Cosmetics. Some mm. of you walked out with some of their beautiful natural made uh, makeup that was given as a gift to folks that joined our event. Um, we also have Bartonura Sparkling, which, mm -hmm. you know, I know some people are doing a dry or damp January. Um, a damp January? I heard damp is a new what January. Is damp? I, when I think of damp, I think of something else. <laughs> <laughs> like a soggy diaper or something. But yes, um, yeah. That's exactly what I'm thinking of, a uh, soggy yeah. diaper. I, I thought of a soggy diaper. Yes. I, it that's because we the, have kids. It must be the mom in me. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but like hmm. uh, Bartonura hmm. Sparkling and then... Obviously, to negate some of the toxin intake is the toxin clear out, which mm. is uh, BLK, black water. Amazing. I mean, yes. people loved, loved, loved the water. Yes. A this series, great sparkling water yeah, they, they come a, up with. A, essentially, a, a series of flavors, all serving different purposes from gut health to like brain clarity. And it's just incredibly worth checking out their water. They have a sparkling version of it, which we absolutely love. And when you really kind of pour it out. It just looks different than any, any other pour water up, that you've ever had. Up. Yes. Pour it up, pour it up. It's because it looks like you're drinking Coca-Cola because they haven't removed any of the, the, dark, no, minerals. the dark minerals right yeah. from it. So it's, it's, it's really a fantastic water. So worth taking a look, black water. It is. And then we also had some delicious black rum Caribbean cake mm -hmm. um, as a live sponsor mm -hmm. there. So KA Cakes. Thank you so much for supporting our event. Mm -hmm. It meant so much to us, especially the holiday season's a great time to be eating rum cake. And of course, we have to balance some sweet with some spice. Absolutely. Mr. Bing Mr. was Bing. there, hot and heavy. Bringing some hot sauce. All sorts of hot sauce was um, really distributed to um, our guests mm -hmm. in their wonderful Makes Leo Leo spicy. gift bags. But then we had some live bottles spread out throughout the whole mm. premises for people to have with their dumplings and with their different um, yummy finger foods. So mm -hmm. really, really great to have them. Uh, and last but not least on my end, and Greg's got a bunch more to thank, but Taj Lounge. Yes. Um, we wouldn't have done this event without you. Yep. So big thanks to Taj Lounge. Yeah, Taj Lounge and, and Chris Irish. Yes, yes, Irish Chris. Chris Irish. I, oh. He goes by Chris Irish. Oh, okay. That's not his real last name, but that's what he's known as. That's Chris his Irish. Code name? That's the code name. Oh, now we that's revealed the, it. That's the venue code name. Okay. Yes. But, but apparently we, everyone knows Chris Irish. We've got two more ranger sponsors to three thank. More. We got three more to go through that okay. we have to talk about. Yes. First and uh, foremost, I just want to mention a partner from the finance industry that is known for native content and helping brands distribute their messaging, Dianomi, big friends of God Spice. So we want to say a big thank you to Tad, Ken and team over at Dianomi for sponsoring our event as a content sponsor. Uh, also, a good friend of ours, Sonny, who owns Global Chauffeur Service. And so we love Sonny. We love his vehicles. He was supplying vehicles that evening for us and other talents. And we just want to say a big thank you to, uh, to Sonny and his team for uh, the car service. And now, last but not least, Brooklyn Dim Sum Company, which was incredible dim sum. And just want to say thank you to Phil and team over at Brooklyn Dim Sum, who uh, was also a sponsor we on the evening. also cannot wait to do a restaurant review yes. episode with Phil and the Brooklyn Dim Sum Company. So that's yes. something to be looking out for. And yeah, get ready for this season. This season, we're going to, you know, we're going to continue gonna doing what we're doing. We're going to change it up a little bit. We've been getting requests left and right because on our show, we often talk about travel because we love taking the kids to other countries for cultural reasons, as well as the ability to taste other foods in their native environments. I'm and glad we you want to take the kids food. for that reason. I want to go to those places with the kids so I can just be on vacation. Oh, that's nice. And we can just like drop the kids off somewhere and we can just kind of go do our own you thing. You know, there's a, there's an actual literal thing to drop the kids off at the pool. Oh, that's... And it's not always oh. about male 
but males, male. men Wait, what? going men? to the bathroom. Wait, men, male. No, that, that works <laughs> on both sides. <laughs> yeah, Dropping. but women don't really say, I'm going to go drop the kids off at the pool. That's I've, like a man's expression, as, not a woman's. As a man, I do not think I've ever used that expression <laughs> in my entire life. <laughs> I've only heard it from men. <laughs> you might have other types of men. Again, the type that aren't like Elvis getting trampled on by the women coming to an event. I'm so sorry, Elvis. <sighs> you know, Are we going to start just calling you... Galvis, Galvis? For, his, for the no, rest of this episode? I'm, I'm, no, just call me the Gregory. Yeah. Okay, but that's not Elvis. No, because it's the Gregory. It's like, it's take Elvis, take the Beatles, take George Michael, hmm. all these like massive individuals that just women just coagulated around. Coagulate? <laughs> what the hell type <laughs> of usage of word is that? <laughs> because they clambered in like... <laughs> It was like this coagulation around like these people and they couldn't get out of it. I am the new version of that. Okay. So I the think Gregory. I think people will probably just want the Greg show, mm. which I'm totally happy leaving you carrying on the baton. Wait, what, what, what do you mean the Greg show? I don't want to be here for coagulations of anything. No, why not? I, I am not interested in the coagulations. No. Oh, you don't like it that way? Okay, it sounds gross too. That's weird. It's not. That's not gross. It sounds disgusting. Why does that sound gross? Who doesn't think coagulation sounds gross? Well, there's nothing wrong with coagulate. It's a good word. But anyway, back to our sponsors. <laughs> we want to say thank you to everyone who participated in the event. Um, our friends, family that came to the event, the press that came to the event, uh, other great people that we met, like Ellie. Yes. You know. Yes. Ellie we Halloween. Met some well, we met, met a lot of great personalities that evening. I and all of you have like found a special place in our heart. Yes. Uh, it means a lot to see that support and come out for us for the first time we've ever done this. And I don't know. We'll see how this year goes, but this might become an annual thing. Yeah, so we absolutely. shall see. Absolutely. It might end up becoming, that's true, the guides, the guides, the got spice. And what's that face for? The got spice end of year token event that everyone's going to want to be at moving forward. I think it's more than a token that we dropped on that, but okay. yeah. <laughs> it All depends right. on the size of the token. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really big token. It's a really, it's quite a large token. So speaking of like kicking off this year, um, you know, I brought up the other day when we were trying to think about what's going to be our first topic. Um, how do you feel about new year's resolutions? Mm -hmm. And I heard you're very resolute about resolutions. I'm not a fan of resolutions and mostly because I feel that, and again, I'm not going to judge anyone for any resolution that they have. You should definitely have some sort yeah, of you resolution. Do you. you do you. But the reason why I'm just not a fan of, of a resolution is I'm not a fan of, Hey, let me go wait till the first of the next year to say, I'm going to start changing up my lifestyle or start doing something different. As you know, I've always been the type of person that if I'm going to do something or if I want to change something, just start changing it right away. Mm -hmm. Like instead of waiting. And then what happens sometimes that I've seen throughout my experience and you can just actually, when I, back when I was a personal trainer, Oh God, here I'm going to bring go it back again. when I was a personal oh trainer, what's God. one of the number one resolutions people want to work out and they want to lose weight. When I used to work at a gym, oh that lasted for about three Wait, weeks. Wait, you're still talking about being a personal trainer? Three, yes. The whole New Year's resolution thing lasted about three weeks, and then the gyms died right back down to where they were pre, like, mm. New Year. So I feel like a lot of resolutions, so people trainers, do not. like, do price gouging at the start of a year? Yeah, why not? For and the like, first three weeks, and just, then like, quadruple their, your they prices. They got their, like, first quarterly, like, profits come in. Correct. Because you know that like the audience is going to die off right at like the three the uh, three week mark. It actually takes um, they say it takes up to three weeks to sort of build a new habit, and so I think a lot of people just do not get to that yeah, but that point like because twenty seven days a, or something correct, like that. Correct, and so it takes discipline to get there. And I just feel with resolutions, people make resolutions thinking that it's going to change their life, and they wait for a certain day to do it. Yeah, but I just feel that if you're going to make changes in your life, why not just make them right when you think you should make them and just start doing it because mm. then you get, get into the habit of doing it versus, oh, I'm going to wait till next year or I'm going to wait for this. What is different between December 31st and January 1st? Absolutely nothing other than it's just a different day. I do love that. Um, when you ask me a question, I answer it in a sentence. Mm. When I ask you a question, you've gone I give into- a dissertation? No, it's a whole effing monologue. Well, forever. it's a thesis, you know? It's, 
It's the same way books are written. Oh a my book God. could be written and told Why? within a sentence Why? or two. Why did I even say anything? But you extend it out to 200 to 1,000 pages because people oh want to get Lord. involved in the story. There's character development, right? I had to build some character development in order to properly and build a construct. As mm. you know from neuroscience, because we both have um, performed neuroscience in our marketing, the brain has to build a construct to understand the story before they start accepting and appreciating the story and then fall in love with the story. Mm. So I was taking people on what is called a spiritual, mental, and physical journey. Okay, that's great. Um, you've lost it's me in the journey. I think I was thrown on the side of the trail what of this about? road to well, your journey. Some, that, that's why we always carry some trail mix. It's like, you know, get, I didn't, I don't even know. Did mix. we even get to the end of this journey? I'm not quite sure. Did you put your sneakers on yet or what? No, I didn't. Well, that's why you're on the side of the trail. Get back on. Um, get on. Once you fall off the horse, you just got to right, get back right on and, and, and start riding again. So I have a perspective on New Year's resolutions Yeah, let me well. hear your perspective on, um, on resolutions. If you would like to maybe hear my perspectives, Greg, or <sighs> we're just sure going to keep hearing you. yours for um, the next 30 minutes. I, I mean, I could give you like a I mean, a how many people want to hear Greg keep talking? Look, the numbers are going up. Who <laughs> read a million already? <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so yeah, what are your thoughts on a New Year's resolution? Let's hear it. Um, What's your thoughts? So I... I believe in the anti-resolution. Mm. I'm a little bit more sensational compared to you the in my anti-resolution. Is that like instead of I'm going to quit drinking in January, I'm going to drink twice as much in January? I'm I'm more about like you should have you should have your own values um, and mm. purpose in life mm. and and be true to who you are. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you could just like say, oh, New Year's is coming. I'm going to find new values. Because I, I think about it in terms of as a brand marketer for companies, mm -hmm. I feel I've always looked at identify values that are tried and true, like also embedded with some aspirational. And they should be honest in terms of uh -huh. the personality and the DNA of the company. So are you giving people more credit than they deserve that you think that their resolutions are about values versus pure vanity and making their bodies look better so that's the difference i'm not a va vain person otherwise i would mm. not have sat here with my big frotacular head frotacular it's sorry guys apologize mufasa. new season mufasa has come out mm -hmm. of the woodworks here because i'm needed... thinking about getting lion king tickets and he <laughs> wants to audition i'm like we don't have to spend money going to see lion king i am the lioness yeah, just i'm going here going around, just like Shut up. that's what? mean what you're mean? making that's... fun of me no you're, you go around singing Katy perry you're gonna hear me roar right Oh my God. Okay. So similar to Red Red looking Red at the values that you <laughs> identify for a untangible thing like a company and notice I could ignore mm. him. Um, I think we should know what values we have for ourselves. What are, what are our values and our, our belief system mm -hmm. that, it shouldn't be like, I'm going to change who I am in 2024 or in 2025. Mm. It's like... They should just continue being who they are. I think I think it's important to be core and true to who you are. Mm -hmm. Aim to be better. Maybe mm. aim to achieve some of those mm. like deliverables against those values. And so if working out is tied to one of your values, mm -hmm. which might be, I want to live a healthy life. Mm -hmm. Okay. A healthy life doesn't mean necessarily like you have to work out like a crazy person every day suddenly. It could be, let me watch what food I'm eating. Let me mm -hmm. scale back my drinking. Let me pursue damp January yeah. instead of dry January. Instead of five bags of chips, maybe only have one. Five chips. Mm. So in other words, what you're saying is that have the true core value to what is germane to you as an individual and just expand upon those. Which means that if Which someone's a sociopath, grow, like grow as yeah, a person, exactly. So if someone's a sociopath, they shouldn't oh say, "I'm God. no longer going to be a sociopath oh anymore." They should just expand their oh, level of sociopathic isms. That's not even a word, but we'll just take it there for right now. So I completely hear what you're saying. That if someone is that way internally, when the new year hits, they should just expand it further. Okay. 
Um, if you actually understood anything about psychological states mm -hmm. of a human being, I do. if you are a sociopath, you most likely don't even recognize or accept you're a sociopath. Look, I'm, I'm at stage seven where acceptance are in this relationship. And narcissists are the first ones to deny their narcissistic attributes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So why you're would you... about the five dimensions of the mind. So yeah. let's get... Okay, so now we're going to get into like, you know, being an introvert and extrovert and like other areas of the brain, the dimensions. Okay. Yeah. Let's 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 have a conversation. Let's do that. Okay. So now you're... Now tell let's us... Let's test you. Tell us, Miss Narcissist, what are your thoughts I'm not, on... Nar I'm not a freaking narcissist. It takes one to know one. I... Oh, you're the one that brought... Well, if someone's a narcissist... You said sociopath and yeah. I'm just tying it to simple... Oh, human I see. Attribute human attribute of being a, nar a narcissist. narcissist. Okay, so you're saying that a narcissist and a sociopath are not too dissimilar. You're putting them in the same spectrum. A narcissist is also a sociopath. Oh, a sociopath is mm. a narcissist. Not necessarily. Yes, necessarily. No, not necessarily. Hundred percent necessarily. There, there might be a little like we an need event. Dana. We need in Dana. A, in to a join Venn this. diagram, there might be some you know like what? little bit of an you know overlap. What? But forget about sociopaths. You're a psychopath. Oh, that's what you are. I can't believe you're calling me a, a psychopath. I mean, you just called me a narcissist. There's a complete difference between a narcissist and a psychopath. A narcissist isn't a people pleaser. I'm a people pleaser. That's, That's like the opposite of a narcissist, Greg. Who said you're a people pleaser? You have told me the, I'm a people pleaser. No, maybe it's you're trying to satisfy like your own internal feeling, and really the people pleasing aspect of it is 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 is, is a farce. Okay, we're very off tangent, and we're going to go back to resolutions. Yes. Okay, resolution. You, I we love both, tangents. We both are not Tangerines into the, are good. We're both not into the resolution thing. Yeah, no. Only because I feel like, again, coming back to, it's the same reason when... But, but how do you fit in culturally, right? Like at work, well, I feel like it's an awkward thing because I feel like people are so like into the resolution thing. I don't... The way... The way I look at resolutions is the same way. And then no one wants to socialize because they're saying they're doing they're dry like, January. Yeah, they're doing something for different in January. But the reason why I'm not a fan of resolutions, coming back to what I was saying before, but it's the same reason why sometimes when people want to change up their life, they decide to move somewhere. But the problem, you know, when you speak with like therapists, psychologists and everything like that, say when you move, the problems that you had in your previous area are going to follow you there. And that just like starting from scratch doesn't mean your life is going to change. And so I feel the same thing with resolutions. I think it's wonderful. If that's what someone wants to do. Go, go do it. I'm not saying do not do it just well, for myself. Have people have different things that anchor them and like kind of help guide them to be better or do something I, different. Or also I just, so resolutions might play that purpose, it might play right? That part, but also I think people like to make lists. And so I goes, like oh, lists. Yes. Let me make a list. So I have something to cross off and then in the new year, that'll be my resolution. But oftentimes what happens when you make a list, like things just and do not end up getting crossed off. It's just yeah. like a list for list's sake. I just feel, feel that you shouldn't, for me personally, I don't look at a date as, oh, on this date, I'm going to change something drastic in my life. Because in theory, a resolution could be a drastic change, right? For a period of time. Whereas I'm just like, hey, you have the idea and you want to make a change. Just go make the change right then in that moment in time. Tony Robbins talks about it. He's always like, don't start tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You have the idea, start today. Because it's so easy to push. Oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to do it the next day. Oh my day. God, that's like me and with working out. That's like me with working out. Like I just need off. to do it like in the moment when I feel it. You know how I am. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if I don't wake up and I don't just put on my yoga pants and my workout clothes first thing in the morning, yep. you could pretty much can't like, Kirthi's not working out that day. Like, and by the way, um, I'm not allowed to like necessarily talk about where I'm at and what I'm doing, but I did get a new job, folks. And um, that's, I'm really, really excited about it. It's a very, very cool job. I get to work with our leadership on branding and defining the company, all these exciting things. But we also are back in the office and it's changed my daily routine mm. when I've been remote for the last few years with my other jobs. Yes. And I'm like, I'm trying to like figure out when does this chick work out people? Like I need to work out. I need to figure out how to make time so I don't become a typical mid-aged looking woman. So I have a solution. Yes. So 
Should we announce to everyone what I'm thinking about doing? Well, and get a perspective. Well, since you already said it, you've already announced it. I get. Well, I haven't announced anything yet. I could just make sure. something else up. I could say like, like a, "Hey, in January, you're like our parents or something." Yeah. Well, in January, I could. I could just say, "Should in January, I announce what I'm going to announce? Um, maybe I should announce it." Yeah, uh, but I can just flip it up. I could just be like, "Oh, on Fridays, we are going to have you know champagne at Friday, uh, five p.m. each week." Boom. But no, that's not what you were going to announce. I so. know, but that's why I'm saying I left it like vague. But our true fans, so, true fans know what to do on Fridays at 5 p.m. Yep. What do you play? What song do you play? It's 5 p.m. somewhere. Champagne Friday. Champagne Friday. I was letting you guys guess. A Friday. F -f -f Friday. So I am thinking. Oh, wait, we're going to be doing something exciting with Champagne Friday too, right? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. We're going to, we, we already are, it's already in the works. We've had requests to take that song and uh, drop it into some, you know, different styles of remixes so it could hit the club I don't scene. Know. Maybe it'll be an EDM version. Who knows? Yeah, could be. Trying or, to figure... or a reggaeton version. We're trying or to both. see which we're trying to see which DJ we want to work with on the remix first. Yes. So. Yeah. See so who's gonna bring it bring it out to the marketplace. Who's gonna yes. make it the most interesting? Yes, they're they're lining up right now. Yes. Yeah. We are. That'll be we fun. We got a few options. Yes. So we gotta see which one. So but, but Back to what we back were chatting. Back to Greg's big announcement. So I am thinking, and the reason why I'm thinking about doing this is I hear all the time because I we live a healthy lifestyle for the most part. We eat healthy, we work out. But the thing is, we're not hitting the gym. Except I haven't worked out in the last two days. It's been, yeah, it's been a few days for you. That's because you're acclimating to the new gig and it's like new schedule. I just almost. said I'm replacing and, steps with um, exercise. Yeah, that's true. And we still have the kids <laughs> that we have to worry about, like, and take care of in the morning and all that thing. But people often ask, like, how do you stay in shape? And I know you're always in shape. I, you know, because we eat well, but we also work out. But the thing is, mm. we don't necessarily have time to hit the gym for an hour, hour and a half, two no, hours. It's too much. But, you know, we'll go out for a run and that'll be maybe like an hour long. But instead, on all the other days, I do these, what, Caroline Gervin videos? Yes, yes. Introduced to us originally by your sister, and then which My you started. My sister was like chiseled. Yeah, she's like ripped. And Pooja down in Miami. And so... I just do these videos and they're just, she has all different lengths from 15 minutes all the way to like an hour, hour and a half. But all I do is the quick 15 minute videos with dumbbells or kettlebells. I throw pushups all in between. So it's a solid 15 minute workout. Whereas you see, I'm sweating profusely and I will tell you, you feel great. Like your body's tight you do. and everything. So what I'm thinking about doing is because I'm asked on a regular basis to help inspire others. Mm. Listen, this, the timing may change on this, dads, but dads do have time to work out. You do. And I'm tired. And everyone always says, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. Fit 15 minutes into your day. So what I'm thinking about doing, because I've been asked on multiple occasions, I'm thinking about starting it out very easy, just Tuesday and Thursdays, maybe increase how many days per week, but maybe just Tuesdays I mean, you, and Thursdays. You, you actually do it Monday through Friday. I do it Monday through Friday, but to kick it off this way, Tuesday and Thursdays going live, maybe at 6.15 a.m., mm. which is early enough where if you have kids, you can get up and get this done before you have to worry about taking care of them and getting them out to school. And it's also early enough where someone could do it, shower, and then commute into the office, into the city. So I'm thinking 6.15 a.m., Tuesday and Thursdays to start do, going live well, on Insta. God Spice Live 15, with Greg. God Spice Live with me, 15-minute Caroline Gervin workouts. I, it will change your life. I think that will be really great. It's very motivational. It is. Well, that's actually, uh, not to use the word resolution, but mm -hmm. we have been uh, trying to figure out how we can go live with our channel in a way that works for us and our kids and our work day and stuff. So I think you doing this live workout is awesome. Yes. And it's a way for people to also ask you a couple questions afterwards. If yeah, they want it's going to be incredibly fun because what we'll do is it'll be a 15 minute workout. And so during the course of 15 minutes, we could break it up into three minute sections of five, where each of those sections, we will do shots of tequila. Uh, so at 615 in the morning. Yeah, we're gonna do five shots that of tequila during these workouts. Vomit. Huh? That would make me want to vomit. Maybe, maybe it'd be five glasses of champagne instead. All right, you do you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We will not be drinking tequila uh, on Tuesday and Thursday at 6.15. They'll that'll be having be, black water. That'll be the... Have your black be, water at that time. Uh, the black water at that time. Yes. That'll be the Saturday, Sunday edition. That, that, that doesn't happen <laughs> in any workout situation with us. 
<laughs> and like how Greg like play, talks bad boy and he's the opposite of bad boy. Thanks, Greg. No, we'll be smoking cigarettes instead. No, you would die with your asthma. I probably would die with my asthma. Yeah. yeah. You we're, would we're not, we're not smoking keel over. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it's gross. Ew. Yeah. Why are yeah. you saying these things? I don't know because it goes with working out. We got to feed you. It is Sun Crown 3. Oh, that's true. It's, we haven't really some haven't had any eggs or uh, uh, meat Okay, today. you do not eat eggs on a Monday anyway, so stop acting like a drama queen. Ugh, I know. it's, But, you know, it's one of those things when it's like taken away from you, you just want it that much more. You're like such a child. <sighs> why, why am I a child? Why are you such a child? Why am I being a child? Greg, How am I being a child? Because you're, that's what children I am an adult. do. I am, I'm hitting a milestone birthday this year. You all do have a milestone. I'm reassessing uh, the situation. I will be a score plus 10. Mm. Mm. It doesn't look it, though. No. Sorry. So I'm lucky. You are lucky. I know. But, okay, not when you tell me I'm lucky. Hmm? I'm not lucky when you tell me I'm lucky. I didn't tell you you were lucky. You just said you are lucky. No, I was just... You just told me I'm lucky. That's I was, like so conceited. You just told me I'm lucky. I was corroborating <laughs> your story. Oh my God. I was aligning with you. Uh-huh. As a guy, you can never do right nor wrong. It's like when the woman says a compliment, you want to like, they're looking for a compliment back. You give them the compliment. They get mad at you for that, saying that you're like placating them. Then you don't say anything. Then they're mad at you for not saying anything. It's like, I just, I don't understand relationships Oh my God, sometimes. men are such victims. This is why you're a sociopath and a narcissist. Oh my God. This is like total blasphemy. It's bl blasphemy. Well, maybe make a New Year's resolution about it. Uh, no, no New Year's resolution happening. But I will say what I'm excited about this mm -hmm. year, we have a couple of things that we're planning on this year. Yes, we are. Um, we have more new music that will be coming out this year mm -hmm. from our music producer mm -hmm. and director, as well as musician. Who, me? Yeah. But we're producing more music? Yeah, you told me we're producing more music. Oh, uh, I must have forgot about that. Okay. So anyway, God's Spice will have Things that we just tell women when music. we want something from them. We're going to have more music coming out. You know what I mean? Um, it will not be holiday themed. Yes. How many people... Um, took a gander at our holiday album. We had uh, hundreds of thousands, thank you, hundreds of thousands of plays on our Christmas album across all different platforms. So we just want to say thank you. Yeah, I, and I can also say I'm sorry, like, you know, in case. I know, Kirti's still learning to be a musician. But, well, you know, it's hard. How many of you, like, I, I have a hard time hearing myself sometimes. I know. That's why I have selective hearing. I only, I block out 90% of what you say, and I only absorb maybe about, like, 3 to 4%. That's really messed up. Why is that messed up? You're telling me that you don't like hearing me? Then why do you produce me? No, I'm not talking about the music. I'm just talking about in day-to-day -day correspondence. Oh, that's because I'm mostly yelling at all of you. Well, that, that well, is really, so you're admitting yeah. back the narcissist. That's Psycho not, excuse me. Path behavior. Let's stop calling me a narcissist because it's factually incorrect. Mm -hmm. I deal with a lot of idiots and mm. I have to yell at them. I know. If you guys actually did your job and did your That's like so duties. Mean. You're calling our audience idiots. No. I'm calling you and the kids idiots. Why would you call me and the kids idiots? Oh my god. What? I mean the kids, maybe. But me? Don't I mean, call our kids idiots. You just did. You, you're not allowed to. No, I'm not allowed to. But you because can. Because I can. Why well, can't you? But I can't. Because I am way more responsible than all of you. Oh, that is so untrue. In what way are you responsible? Every more way. responsible than me. Every way. I go to work for a few days in the office, and I come home, huh? and they're all like, "Why is the fridge empty?" That's so. Like, that's basic not true. shit. They can't so manage. Not, no. Because the fridge was cleaned out because we had eaten what was in the fridge to eat and cured the oven to come home one night lie. after That's we had eaten. That's a lie. That's so I not true. I cleaned out the fridge because I found old rotting food in there. There was not and old like, rotting food. You people there's are no not way there was capable food. of oh, throwing out leftovers. You no, can't throw out some leftovers. There was maybe one, thing, no, there's, there's maybe one thing that was being saved for you that you Stop were like... Stop saving shit for be, me. You'd be all upset I, if it was no, gone. No, Stop. Yes. And then you're saying, oh, the fridge is empty. It's got rotting items in it. That is so Gregory, untrue. Curdy. You're lying. Oh, I'm not lying. You are you're fibbing. Pants are on fire. You are over like dramatizing the situation. This is like worse than like days of our lives. The, they are terrible at managing themselves. That That's is so untrue. That is so untrue. This house is run like a tight ship. Not by you. Yeah, of course, like by me. It's by me. No, even when not, I'm not here. That's so untrue. I order food when. We need food, not to have an 
excess All right, of Dorothy. food that then goes wild. Good job, Dorothy. <laughs> that, that then goes bad or moldy or rotten, as you said. Huh, that's right. I am forcing the family to eat food they otherwise would not eat because they're too spoiled to have something always brand new in the fridge when maybe they should go back and eat something that, like, finish something up and then we... That's Order actually new. not the problem with the brown people side of this equation. The brown people side. You okay. know. Uh-huh. Are you saying I don't eat leftover? You do. But I do. You know someone else doesn't. Oh, there, that's something. Well, that sometimes happens. Yes. Sometimes. 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 Every freaking time. <laughs> uh-huh. I see. So now you've turned this into a white thing, brown thing. I it's, see how you are. No, it's culturally... Huh spoiled culturally oh culturally Indian spoiled. people do not spoil things we are uh -huh. brought up to never waste okay because i'm not we sure will if i agree with punished you on that. by the gods mm -hmm. okay i'm not quite That's sure true. of that okay it's true yes don't lie don't you're full of this is the sun country episode and you're not being sweet you you're being terrible isn't it sweet and sour no it's eat sweet be sweet yes i'm being sweet you're not sweet well, you know, you're... You've called me a narcissist? Yes. You've called me you like... you called me a psychopath. But you are. I'm not a psychopath. You make me sound like I'm Christian Bale from... What's that movie like he was in? Where he's like killing people? You have people. to wear a suit, which I've never seen you wear once. What are you talking about? I wore a suit to our event. No, you did not wear a suit. That was a suit. That was a gorgeous suit. You did not... You do not wear suits. I don't even think you have a suit in your closet. I have a suit. We should do like a closet breakdown event with Greg because he has no appropriate grown-up man clothes. That is so untrue. My closet is laden with... <laughs> you're, you're, you're like, you can't even deny it. Look at you. What? You're a freaking liar. I'm not lying. What do you mean? What is... What is how do you define grown-up clothing? I wore a suit to our event. I wore leather pants. That's not a suit. That's not a suit. Leather I wore pants a tuxedo is shirt. Not a suit. I wore a gorgeous lace tuxedo jacket, and it all fit together quite well, like a suit. That is not a suit. I also have a suit, a custom made suit. That is an outfit. Yes. And that thing is also another crazy pattern suit. Yeah, that no, no. If you take the word suit, suit, is it was suited for the event. Oh okay? my gosh. That is the way to look at things. Who wants a boring suit when you could have an outfit, as you said, so Greg, for specific events? I, this is where I just step in and cut you off. Okay. Greg, I know exactly what I'm going to do with you. What's that? There will be no more habanero sauce made for you. There will be none. None at all. And I'd like to see how you manage yourself. Yeah. We've come to that in this relationship. There is no God spice. There's got bland. Just got bland. Shit just got bland. Hmm. Like Madonna. God, please change Kirthi's mind. <laughs> Convince her to make more hot sauce, <laughs> either chocolate ghost or some Carolina Reaper. Okay. Chocolate ghost. You know, it's hard for me to get the chocolate ghost mm -hmm. peppers. I love her very much. And I think you need to have a divine intervention and step in and change the sentiment of her mind. For the sake of mankind and my health. Next time you cross me, you'll think about it. How dare you? How dare you call me narcissistic? You just crossed the line. What line is that? Taking away my hot sauce. <laughs> I know. Because I'm... This chick is too busy. I'm too busy. Oh my God, are you tearing up? Are you... Wow, you should probably become an actor and quit... Financial services, marketing. The way that you have just disturbed my inner being. Oh. You've disrupted the gravity around me. Hmm. And I may not be able to walk. Walk? Clearly. What? After this moment. All right. Anyway. Moving on. Back on. So. That was That's fine. Pull long. the hot sauce away and see what I pull away from you. Hmm. That's right.
No more sweeping the floor, vacuuming. Wait, you make yourself sound like a housewife. <laughs> you are not a housewife. <laughs> this is total BS. So I'm not watering the plants anymore. You don't do that. I do. Alexis does that. Okay, sometimes. What? What are you looking at me like that for? You don't do any of that. I do. I sometimes manage the plants. You know me. I've got the green thumb. Hmm. I see. I see what's going on here. You're going tit for tat. I can go tit for tat all night. Hmm. Is that what one of your New Year's resolutions? I'm going to hold you accountable. For what? I will hold everyone accountable. I cannot believe you are treating me this way in the new year. This is supposed to be 2024, like <laughs> a year of like, you know, resolutions. I'm going to treat him extremely well. I thought that's what your resolution was going to okay. be. I think you're treated exceptionally well. Mm, so true. let's not play like victim. Mm, that is true. Okay. You do treat me quite well. Okay. Thank you. Yes. I, agree. Um, I agree with you there. And, I was trying to go somewhere with it, but I, I actually, there's nothing I can and say. And you falsely accusing me of being a narcissist like 10 times in this episode mm. means Greg will be docked a lot of different pleasure points for the rest of this Whoa. quarter. I thought your last name like began with an N meant narcissist. That's all. N-A, N-A, you know? It's like one of those things. I, don't look at me. You, you got like doctors in the family. I was thinking maybe there's some sort of like connection. I'm not a doctor. Mm. I thought you're the doctor of I'm love. just a marketer. Oh. I thought you were a doctor of marketing. N no, I don't have a PhD in marketing. Oh, that's all right. I have an MBA. Sorry. Mm. I fall short of the PhD. Fall, fall short of the PhD. <laughs> 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 so Kirti, why don't we uh move on from resolutions and talking about me apparently being a psychopath <laughs> um it's <laughs> <is> not true <laughs> and uh yes we did i just like to say things to like you know stir you i see i see how you are hmm. Hmm. typical but you thought i was really a narcissist which is messed up well you know what hey look Things happen. We say things out of just. Oh, okay. So anyway, so why don't we tell people what they should expect this season? So what are we going to do this season? Well, oh, you talked that, about music. I was, I was saying we're going to be releasing some new music mm -hmm. coming throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So be on the lookout for that. Yes. We will um, release some new there, music, there, I think. There, I hope. Well, I think they're mostly all originals that we're planning, right? Yeah, they are. I, we have to sit down and feel inspired to write and record them. Okay, Sometimes well, we do have challenge. one song in the works. Yeah, but that one song, you know, anyone who's a songwriter knows that you can write a song in 10 minutes or it could take 10 years. And so just because one's in the works doesn't mean it will be completed for another okay, up to 10 That one we years. did not do in 10 minutes, but anyway, yes. moving on. Mm-hmm. Um, we will be, uh, actually kind of moving our show into trying to explore local eats. Mm -hmm. So bringing people into the world of really delicious local New York city food vibes. Mm -hmm. And our first, uh, kind of venture will be to Brooklyn dim sum company. And mm -hmm. we cannot wait to try mm -hmm. their amazing, uh, dim sum and other amazing dishes there in their restaurant. Because as we all know, you can order food, but it's never as good than when you sit down and eat it fresh delivered oh, to you. Yeah, for sure. It's such a different experience. For sure. Yeah. And then, um, we're also looking to, uh, hopefully get a gander into where are all the cool event venues of New York City? Mm -hmm. And so that's going to be kind of another area that we're going to be exploding. Like, so the idea is that we want to bring you into our world mm -hmm. and share with you the things that we get access to yes. and opportunities to see and be a part of. And this season is really being guided by all of you because it's really, we were thinking about what should we, where should we take the season, right? And literally, you know, Friends, family, fans, everyone was just like, you guys, when we sit down and you talk about food and when you eat food, you're so particular. You guys go through all the different spices that yeah. are in food. You guys should do a season where you go out to local restaurants and talk about great food. But then also, you always seem to know where to go out. So why don't you guys like well, you know what's help funny about that? identify a great spots? A lot of people who visit New York, they ping me and you yeah. and they're like, we're going to be there. We can't get to see you, which is fine because not 
we can always see everyone who visits mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But like, we can't see you, but we have friends coming or we're coming. And we would love your like restaurant suggestions. Correct. And that's really fun. Like we have a lot of fun sharing our personal list with folks because Greg and I are, we're really big about like not going to franchises mm -hmm. or like fast food is sorry, not one of our things, but open to local fast food. I think I had fast food once it. or twice in my life until I met the Nike family. Oh, and then we started eating there. fast food like every two weeks. Uh oh, we're going there. Yes, we are. I'm blaming it on your sister. I had Taco Bell once in my life, once before meeting Kirthi. And since then, I've eaten like this yep, exorbitant amount of, I don't know, I, can't, I don't even know where to go with this, other than I've had Taco Bell now way too many times. And he likes it. The vegetarian Taco Bell. Yeah, you actually eat the vegetarian stuff. At Taco it's actually Bell. not even worth eating Taco Bell the way I eat it because I don't even eat it the way that they make it vegetarian. Like they put beans. I, I can't stand beans in, in tacos. You know, it's like total blasphemy. Yeah, I just eat. I eat their tacos. <laughs> it sounds like such a waste of Taco Bell. I eat Taco Bell tacos, which is guacamole, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes. Okay. And then one of their sauces. That's so Greg it. is still learning how to eat. I'm working on this. That's because I don't like their prepared chicken. I don't Their prepared chicken's actually good. It's actually diced proper chicken breast. Yeah, sometimes it be it's rubbery. not shrapnel. Yeah, it's I still don't like it. No, and you're then, you've got like a pre -dis disposition. I don't like their steak. I don't like their beans. I just eat total. Just just throw some guacamole on a taco with some cheese, crema, lettuce, and uh, tomatoes, and some of their sauce, and it's all good. All right. I eat four of them. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> So oh, thank you. So for anyway, excited. thank you for exciting us with your. Taco you're welcome. Bell so that's why Kirthi loves not just Taco Bell, but if she's going to recommend I don't, I don't Taco, Taco Bell, she's going to tell Taco people Bell. to go to Taco Bell Cantina. No, I don't recommend that normally yeah, I know. or ever. I know, but just in case you started recommending it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's not done. Yeah. So we will not be recommending fast food places. Or not chain fast food. Like there's like faster. Well, there's food. quick there's, service. There's quick food places well, that are local right here. True. Like I guess they're all technically considered QSR, quick like, service like restaurants. Like Matthew Johnson went and discovered um, Dats's That's Deli, Deli. That's who a Deli. we cannot wait to go mm -hmm. try in their new I location. I love sandwiches. Love sandwiches. Um, and also, they have like the whole Caribbean flair to their food, which mm -hmm. is delicious. Mm -hmm. um, and I think there's just ways to eat uh, really delicious food. That's like prepared quickly yes without it being a fast food chain i concur i concur some good food i, I admit i do like subway you do like subway yeah, yeah like subway i like fan. my i like my subway sandwich yeah what do you normally get at subway you can normally get the vegetarian patty i get a veggie patty yeah the veggie patty it's so fulfilling to me mm -hmm. and they make it different but you've been there before when they've run out right then when you get just like a whole veggie sandwich then you just get like lots of lettuce and mm -hmm. they have now avocado spread and stuff. Mm -hmm. It makes it heavy. So I will eat Subway when Girthy wants to eat Subway. But if I had my choice, I would get a sandwich from like an, an Italian deli. No, he wants his oily, or a Jewish deli. salty meats. No, because when I get Subway, I'll get the BMT. But I would prefer having a true Italian combo mm -hmm. from like some great Italian deli or a Jewish deli where I'll get like ham and coleslaw mm. on rye mm. with some cheese. It's mm. so, so good. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yummy. We will keep talking about food since both of us have not really eaten. Today, yeah, no, we so. haven't eaten yet today. Yeah, yeah, no. We've been kind of getting ready for the year, you know, figuring out our resolutions that we're not going to. The non-resolutions. Uh, the non-resolutions. The non-resolution resolutions. The non-resolution non resolutions. Yes. Yes. So. Yes. But we have a lot um, in store this year between mm -hmm. restaurants, venues, uh, new recipes that we're going to share. Mm -hmm. We also have some fun travel coming up. We do have so some we're travel. We're going to be going to the South Beach Food and Wine Festival next month. Mm -hmm. So we'll be really excited to share some snapshots of that mm -hmm. experience. So mm -hmm. if you're there, look us up. We'll be there. Mm -hmm. And... We have other amazing travel that we have coming up this we year. We do, and, and a nice lineup of guests coming on this season as well, which we are not going to uh, disclose any of them quite yet because we want it to be a surprise. Yes. Yes. Some really amazing as always. people. And so season uh, you know, two, we had some great guests there, anywhere from you know your sister who was on, yes. who was a chef, 
to, to life coaches are for, you know, as well as uh, the fly guy. Yes. We produces, had like Broadway shows. Yeah, fly Broadway guy. shows. And, uh, and then we've really wrapped it up with Matthew, which yeah. was awesome. So a lot of fun stuff, guys. Yes. And we can't wait to share 2024 mm -hmm. with all of you at Got Spice. GotSpice.co. And I am the Gregory. And I guess I'm Kirthi. <laughs> <laughs>